Hey everybody, welcome back to Nini's Kitchen. I'm glad you guys are back with us today. Um, we missed last week, we're so sorry for that. Um, but you know, just needed to regroup a little bit after our big selling event on Friday, last Friday. Um, if you missed the gumbo, you missed it. And so try to catch us next time, but it was really, really good. Um, so so thankful for everybody that ordered and even the last minute orders um we sold out and then some so it was great um we are anybody that's here with us already please please share this uh feed so that everybody can get on the right page um we are officially switched over to the nini kitchen page so i want to make sure that everybody's here and um, don't miss out. So we are, like I said, we're back. Sterling's back. I don't know why he went away. Um, hey guys. I'm letting him come back for now. He played his way this week. Make sure I didn't put him out of the kitchen. So here we are. Um, today we're making fairly easy dinner. Um, we have lasagna rolls that we're going to demonstrate for you guys we're going to completely do that um, we're going to be making what is called a punch bowl cake um, it has strawberries it has pineapples it has bananas it normally has pudding um, but i'm replacing the pudding for with cream cheese um, pretty much the same texture but because I try not to use instant pudding, then that's why we're replacing it um, for reasons that we're not even gonna discuss right now. But either way, hey Cheryl, um, hey Aisha, we are gonna, can you guys share the video for me to so make sure that everybody knows that we're on a Nini Kitchen page. Um, we have Caesar salad that's already been made um, and one of my guests are supposed to be bringing the bread. So we're not doing that on camera. So what we are doing today, well, Sterling's got the Caesar salad to show you guys. I don't know if you Just simple, it. nothing major. Romaine, Parmesan, Caesar dressing, um, croutons. and croutons. That's the gist of it. So we're gonna get started. We gotta get our uh, ground beef going for our lasagna rolls and all that. So. Um, thank you guys for sharing. Let's go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna, I have my pan here already. As usual, I'm gonna put olive oil in. Um, anytime I'm, unless I'm deep frying, I'm using olive oil, so. Can I cook the ground beef? So we're just gonna get this started. Sterling is volunteering to Cook our ground beef for if he's making sure that I don't put him out of this kitchen for real. Go ahead and put it in. No, let it heat up just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So I missed you guys last week. Um, what's been going on? Well, I mean, you know, we just have a whole lot going on in the world right now, but we still got to eat, we still got to embrace family, we still have to find you know things to look forward to. So we'll be here. Um, Sorry, you guys. Sterling is always showing me a text while I'm on this show. You need to go tell Zaire that. Um, so what's been going on? Anybody got anything special going on? Aisha, I know you guys had a little mini vacation. I'm kind of jealous because I really, really need a vacation. But since I can't go to the beach right now, you know, I'm sad, but I'm not going to harp on it. Um, hey, Miss Karen. Hey, Miss Robbie. I'm glad you're back. Are you going? All right, Sterling, come on. Let's get this ground beef going. Let's go. So we're gonna get started. Um, Sterling's gonna get started with the ground beef. And I will tell you guys what we're seasoning it with. Uh, we have diced onions. They are don't, um, Hey, this, you're so aggressive. I don't know how 
find truth sometimes. All right, so we've got diced onions, we've got garlic. Um, that's our oven heating because we've got to put the lasagna in there. And just in your ground beef. You've got to break it up. You said not chopping the meat last time. No, chopping and breaking it up is two different things. When it starts cooking, go ahead and sprinkle your seasonings on top of that. While he's doing the ground beef behind me, yeah, put all that in there for your onions and your garlic in too. I'm going to go ahead and um, start showing you guys our cheese mixture that we're going to be using. So let me grab a mixing bowl for that. You don't put cheese in. I know, I was talking with you, so. I swear I think that's too much garlic, but it's okay. Two tablespoons is what you have. And once your ground beef is almost cooked, you let me know, because you got to put tomatoes in. Okay. All right. So, for, what's that? Onions. So, for my cheese mixture, I am using ricotta cheese. I'm using Parmesan cheese. And we have... One egg, and we've got parsley. So, let me just get this ricotta, basic ricotta. Nothing special about it. They have 2%, but I don't do 2% anything. So, that's a no. Just gonna break this up a little bit because we've got to get it blended really well you put the egg in there so that all your cheeses mold together um, so we're gonna pour the egg in and mix that don't do that just let it cook on one side and then you stir it you don't you stop holding a spoon like you can't like it's too heavy for you. You know, last time I did too, best when I flung some iron. Right, your as well. handle that way before you. That's how you get burned. All right. I think I tell Sterling the same stuff every week. Thank you, Miss Robbie. I'm in between hair appointments. That's the reason for the head wrap. So I'm making the best of it. Okay. So. We're going to put our Parmesan cheese in with the ricotta. We've got the egg in there. And we stir everything up really good together. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley in here with the cheese. We're going to use the rest of that parsley at the end. So Sterling's got the oregano and all that going back there. Oregano? Yes, oregano. All your seasonings that you put together earlier. All right. Sounds quite delightful. So, cheese sauce is mixed. Mixture ricotta, parmesan, and one egg. Uh-uh. What are you doing? I'm drain some of the thing I'm using a store-bought uh, marinara sauce today because you didn't you dripped it on there you gotta wipe that off 
store-bought uh, marinara sauce. I didn't make it from scratch today. Um, it's just a basic olive oil and garlic marinara. Nothing special in it. Um, because I've got all the seasonings in the ground beef that we're using. And then I'm going to cook in diced tomatoes in your ground beef as well. So it'll kick up the richness. The diced tomatoes has chilies in it. But you don't have to use the one that has chilies in it. I'm much more excited about this cake than I am about um, the lasagna because I haven't had this cake since probably high school, freshman in college, something like that. Um, so I'm really, really excited about it. Hey Z, um, so yes, the sign, I got that from... Um, my sign came from Kirkland's. I love it too. And it, it works so well on my blue wall, doesn't it? Um, uh, Maddie is in the bedroom playing with her pots. We're keeping her out right now. Her daddy has her. Um, stop chopping in my meat. How many times do I have to say that? Here, let it, leave it alone because it... Let it set. Just settle for a minute um what else we got going on all right so we need to grab get a dishcloth wipe that counter off for me because i need to shift some things around so i have space no your ground beef down. To what? Like low? Very low. You only need it to simmer right now. What? All right. I'm getting my pan out because I'm going to be rolling our little lasagna here in a second. Oh, I hear footsteps coming down the hall. Must be Madeline. Everybody like my new outfit? Seriously, Starling? Uh -huh. I'm trying to make small talk. Are you really being that vain? I'm trying to make small talk. It's not small talk, though. Mm-mm-mm. So we're just pouring in a little bit of marinara sauce into a ground beef. Not a whole lot. We're going to use the rest of it to top our lasagna rolls once we get them assembled. So 
said what? Yeah, you get the new the new sauce in there. Yes. Just down on the Let that simmer. And that's how you get Miss Robbie says you're looking good, so since you you need a couple compliments. There goes your compliment. Alright. Sterling's gonna finish up with that and I will be back in just a minute. Not a shirt and pants, matching. Do you want me to turn it off? So with this, you have to actually, um, you've got to actually cook your lasagna noodles when you're doing this because they have to be able to bend for you. So I did that ahead of time. Um, get some parchment paper. Right there. Let you roll today either. Why? Stone's upset that I won't let him roll the lasagna rolls. Stop stirring that. You change the consistency of stuff when you keep stirring it. So don't do that. All right. So we have got our noodles already cooked. Bendy. They're soft. So we're just going to line them up on our parchment paper and they're already cooked so now they're trying to trying to bend their own way okay i got this part get a small spoon and so if you line them up that makes it easier and First thing goes down. Next thing goes up. Oh. I have a small spoon right here. Yeah, you'll need it. Just give me one second. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, if you guys can still see, yeah. It's going to bring this over here because what we do is you line them with all your ingredients and then you roll. Um, to answer your question, Miss Robbie, um, my apron, I was going to wear it, but I washed it recently from the last time, and it was wrinkled. I didn't iron it in advance. So, I'll be wearing it next Sunday. And I don't have on my apron because I have to display my shirt today, which I'll tell you guys about a little later. So we've got our ground beef on there and then we've got our, put that over there, our ricotta cheese that we're going to put down next. Ricotta cheese, if you've ever worked with it, you know it does not spread 
very well. So you basically are just going to have to drop little chunks of it in there. I never ever make lasagna without ricotta cheese, so I don't know what you're talking about. I must have added it. We didn't like add it on there last time. Like that. And we made the last lasagna roll. It smells like it though. So like I said, you just drop it in. And then we're gonna let Sterling do. I'm gonna let you wash your hands so you can come and do the cheese. He's so anxious to roll these lasagna rolls. Why? <laughs> For, oh, the parchment paper? Yeah, that's really just so it doesn't stick. It's like when you're doing something that is automatically going to stick to a pan. You can use parchment paper or you can line it with, or you can put oil on. Um, Parchment paper is just a little less messy because I can just snatch it off here and throw it in the garbage. Because I'm not baking it in this pan. Come on. All right. All right. So we got the ground beef on. We got the um, ricotta cheese in. And I apologize, you guys, for not dumping this out. But we have some basic uh, Mexican blend cheese. It has Monterey Jack uh, cheddar, Woo. regular cheese. See how I'm drop that? All right, so we're gonna let Sterling put cheese on each one, and then I'm gonna show you guys how you roll it. Not too much cheese, Sterling. Try not to be messy. That's enough. I'm putting that one over there because I have it. Well, that's because you put so much over here. Don't be so heavy handed. All right. Come on. Now, you add just a little tiny bit of marinara, marinara so that it's not dry on the inside because, you know. Nobody likes dry lasagna. As Sterling says, nobody likes dry lasagna. But you don't want a lot because you got you do want it to be able to roll easily. So okay. just gonna turn my pan around here so I can show you guys. And you basically you roll it on up. It's gonna leak out the sides. Don't let it stress you out. Still gonna taste the same. It's gonna be okay. So I did that one. One thing that I need to do, get um, the olive oil, Sterling. You do need to put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of your baking dish. No, over here. Stop being so anxious, that's enough. And then you do line the bottom of your baking dish with sauce, just like you would with a traditional lasagna. And it's just like your your base. Like so, then you just lift it, and you're going to put it over there into your pan. So, I'm just going to roll the rest of these, and then we're going to start over, because if you guys remember anything, Man. I need a lot of everything that I make. You just line them up in your pan, and I'll show you guys what they look like in the pan um, once I'm done. Can I try the last one, please? Mm -mm. I'm trying not to have this leak out too much. But the extra ingredients are definitely going on top. Cool. That one's really, really, really fit. All right, 
last one on here. And then we get to start over. chose to do it that way and don't worry about the ingredients on the pan um, it's okay because you're going to drop ingredients along the way so no this extra meat we're not going to lose so we are going to take that off spatula and just dump that in the pan because we do want to make sure we're not wasting ingredients so we're going to do enough to fill my baking dish over here feeling Maddie's going to be out soon because I hear her giving her daddy a fit in there. Helper has left the kitchen again. I can ask you what you need before you eat this meat. Well, maybe you put it on there. I'll sprinkle the cheese. Oh, I'll, I'll put I'll put the scoops of the ricotta on there. Let's get them on there. All oh, nice and tidy. All right. So again, next step. Little drops of. It's too heavy. Too much in one spot. Little drops of ricotta. And I'll just sprinkle the cheese. You know I'm heavy and heavy. Yes, you are very heavy handed. I don't know where you learned that from. He said being heavy handed with the seasonings and stuff is in his blood. I'm not sure which blood he's referring to, but. Granted, he's got cooking on all sides of his family, which is why I'm standing here now. It's in my blood. I can't help it. Let's make a little cheese on top of this. No. Follow instructions, please. Don't come up with ideas. All right. So I was doing the cheese part. He's not going to be heavy handed this time or make a mess. Over here. All right, more sauce. 
may have to get another jar out. Where is it? I didn't say get it yet. Get rid of that jar for me. All right. So time to roll. Let's start in the middle because this pan is a little packed. Yeah, Miss Robbie, it's just like regular lasagna. It's just, you know. I tend to do things differently. I get bored with the normal cooking, so I literally come up with things to do. Since they never complain, well, not a lot, then I figure they enjoy it. Oh, that one missed out on toppings. So good thing I have a whole lot on the pan. Believe me, whatever we drop will get used. Well, drop on the pan, that is. Anything you need before I'm here. The first thing you can do is not make that noise. going to need a couple more to fill this pan. No, I did not talk about the pie from last night. Maybe you can talk about the pie from last night instead of being over there meddling with other stuff. Uh, guys, the seafood pie last night it was the crab pie. It was pretty good. It was really good, actually. I ate it with the jerk wings. Nice. You didn't consult me on. Oh, you just really know how you put cheese on those. What are you talking about consulting you? Because I thought you. Would I thought you'd put some noodles on there. On yourself and not All right. Let me get rid of these toppings. And we're just going to do a couple more just so I can fill my baking dish. And then we will move on to the next. Extra toppings go on top. Baking sheet. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do more than that. Um, Cause my family are heavy, heavy eaters. You guys, believe it or not, all the stuff that I make on Sundays, I'm still cooking on Mondays because there's no, there, there isn't anything left. It's a good thing. You like your food. Come and clean this off for me. I just dropped meat sauce on the grill and on my iPad, so please clean that off for me. I know I didn't give you guys actual measurements today, but as usual, when I post the recipes, they will be there. All right. Last three 
to fill the baking dish. So we have um, lasagna that's actually going to be one of our supple me supper meals that we're going to sell. Um, come on. But I'm not going to do it this way. It's just going to be traditional lasagna when I do it. Same recipe, just a different look. You're really, really making a mess. Well, it's all in the pan. All right, here. All right, so we're just going to do these two. I need another marinara sauce down there. Open me up another jar. doors before I trip. We didn't even do my cake yet. We're going getting to it right now. Alright. Had to open another marinara sauce. Real grim outside. And uh, gonna get these rolled up. Finish that in the pan. That one is really fat. It does not want to roll. Madeline is having just a ball in that room. I can hear. One of them won't fit in the baking dish. I'm gonna put that one aside for me. I have to put it in a little pan. All right, come and move this. I'm gonna put the leftover meat sauce on top. my hands wash and we can finish putting this together bring this over here so you guys can see it see how neat that looks in the pan so we're going to just doll up some ricotta in between like I said ricotta doesn't spread well I don't see the point of stressing yourself out about it. Just put a little bit on there. Try to get some on each one. And we will put a little more of marinara sauce drizzled across. Hopefully I don't splash this on myself. Because as Sterling said earlier, no one likes dry lasagna. And for the last, we're going to sprinkle some more cheese on top. Done. So, 
you guys see it really good. That is our lasagna rolls. So that goes into the oven. Um, ingredients are pretty much done but you still want to put it into the oven and make sure it, you know you get it cooked well together so we're going to cover it lightly cover it because you don't want your cheese to stick to your foil. So we move this out of the way. And this is just going to go into the oven. I had the oven preheated at 350. It only needs to stay in there probably about 30 minutes. That's it. So we're sticking this in the oven. At the end, um, I am going to take it out and let the cheese actually um, get a slight little crust on the top. If you don't like your cheese to have a crust on the top, then you can, you don't have to do that. But otherwise, um, that's how that works. So let me get everything cleaned up here. Then we'll do the cake. Sorry guys, I was gone. I need to go get my dogs from outside. It's about to rain. Darling, why is that? You did a horrible job at rolling that other one. No, that's not how it was. That's not. You look good. I just put the extra things on the parchment paper on top of it. It looks horrible. You didn't put the wrong one in there? Now I know I made a good decision by not letting you uh, roll in. for our cake. Let's bring over our ingredients for the cake. You don't have to make the meat parsley for it, do you? No. I think I'm supposed to go ahead. I need a bowl because I've got to mix um, cream cheese and like I said, we are replacing um, hey Denise, we're replacing our pudding vanilla pudding with cream cheese and so I'm gonna we're gonna do that here um, in a second actually right now bring the cake over for me please and the punch bowl and you literally make this cake in a punch bowl so cake has already been baked and I have it cut into squares so we're just gonna set that right there Open it. Cut it. All right. Punch bowl. You guys see my punch bowl? It's like a real punch bowl. I have two of them. I actually have the little glasses for them too. All right. So first thing we have our cream cheese. It's one block of cream cheese. I'm going to squeeze out here. It is softened, so it's very easy to work with. Sterling, I'm going to need my um, my whisk. Okay, I'll get you a whisk. One of them. I had the other one earlier, so it should be in the... And I'm going to need the, um, this little gray spatula trash can. The rubber one. Mm -hmm. Silicone is what it is. Cream cheese. It softens, so cut 
perfect consistency. So I'm gonna add in about a quarter, let's see, this is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. We're not even gonna come close to using all of this. It's really just to mix it and give it that uh, pudding like, no, pudding like consistency. Really the only reason why we're doing that. Kind of thin out your cream cheese, but at the same time, you know, keep it sweet. Whole point of dessert is so it's sweet. So we just whisk that together really good. Try not to have any lumps in there. Is Maddie coming in to say hello? So, there is our, that, our pudding substitute, which is just cream cheese. And we have bananas, um, that's what I need you to do. Get a knife so you can Chop bananas. cut bananas. We've got strawberries, we've got pineapples, we got Cool Whip. So, the way that you put this dessert together, like I said, the cake has already been baked earlier today, it's cut into squares. Um, we have our punch bowl. You guys see the punch bowl? Somebody tell me you can see the punch bowl. So, you put cake squares on the bottom. I'm literally just gonna dump them over because to avoid too much contact. Nothing special about the cake squares. Um, all I used was, oh, thanks Denise. All I used was just regular cake mix. Um, my cake mix, I don't use water. I use milk and real butter. So I don't, um, I don't do, let me switch this over so y'all can see just a little bit better. I don't do water and oil in my box cake mix. Um, I use milk and, and butter. So that's what this has. So it's always a little richer than normal. All right, so next thing you do is We've got our cake on the bottom. Um, we're gonna put, first put the cream cheese mixture on there, and then we are going to, it's, it's like you layer it. So we've got the cream cheese mixture, we've got pineapples, and we're gonna put strawberries, and then we'll go from there. So let's start with this. And it is a little bit thick, so it's not gonna pour. You're just going to have to get it in there. We've got to use more of this. So. Got some of that. We're going to use our spatula to kind of smooth it over as much as we can. Sterling has our bananas cut up. I want to cut bananas early because you know what they do. So the next thing we have, and this is going to pour because I kind of blended it a little bit, is pineapples. I'm telling you guys, this dessert doesn't look like a whole lot's going on with it, but once it's together and everything all these ingredients are together and with that cake oh it is so so good so we're gonna use a spoon for our strawberries denise i'm surprised you haven't heard of this dessert especially being from georgia i'm gonna have to send you a recipe for this one so we use frozen strawberries reason being because it has the syrup content that you want So 
so you can go wash it off for me. All right, so we've got that. So we've got cake, cream cheese, pineapples, and strawberries so far. And the next thing that we add, and I'm looking at the directions because you need it back. We um yes, I need it, and I need that off of it. Next thing is bananas. You don't use a lot of bananas. Bananas are probably the least ingredient that you use in here, but you do. Maddie's eyeing my bananas from the side, you guys. I try it, but it sticks. You cannot. So, we got our bananas in there. And then the next thing, whipped cream. Cool whip, what do you guys call it? I call it whipped cream, but I, I think there's an actual difference. So, you are going to use a lot of Cool Whip because you have to cover this layer that you've already put in here with Cool Whip. You haven't told me what to do anything yet. I've been waiting to help. Yeah, you have been helping. Wow. Here, maybe I'll let you do Cool Whip the next time. Yeah. All right, so first layer is done. Cake, cream cheese, strawberries, pineapples, bananas, and whipped cream. So guess what we do? We just start over and do it again. So more cake. Cake doesn't have to go in there all neat and cute. It's gonna get stirred up anyways. Cake's in. We're gonna do the last of the cream cheese because this is, we're only gonna get two layers in this. Spread the rest of your cream cheese over. So, we've got to give Maddie some cake. She'll have those crumbs everywhere in a minute. So, Sterling, pineapples. You don't like dry cake? Yeah. So she said she doesn't want the cake. Here I am trying to be nice. Back up. Let Madeline say hi and then back up. Wave. Maddie, say hi. 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 She doesn't want cake, you guys, but she's asking for a Cool Whip, which we're not giving her. All right, so I just put on pineapples again. We are gonna do, we're gonna switch the layers up a little bit because I want the strawberries closer to the top. So we're gonna do bananas on this layer. Not a lot of bananas. Here, give her the rest of those bananas. In her chair, please. She doesn't want them. I tried to give them to say no. She'll eat the bananas. Manny is a fresh ingredient baby. No matter what I'm making, she eats the raw vegetables and, and all of that. So I'm spooning on strawberries. We are definitely going to use all of these strawberries because why not? It's dessert, right? And we're even going to pour the juice over. All right. Sterling.
and please come remove this stuff before it falls over. Sterling. Too late for that because I had cream cheese on my finger and you touch my shirt. Sterling, he is so worried about this outfit, you guys. Not to get his shirt dirty. All right, last layer. Cool Whip. You guys want to see this, the top of it, before I put the Cool Whip on? It looks so good. You see that? No, you should have to do a Cool Whip. So, so good. Wait, let me start. We got it off. Goodness. So we're going to let Sterling do the last layer of Cool Whip. I'm just getting it stirred up here so it won't have any stuff pieces at the bottom. All right. Don't be so aggressive because you know how you are. Right, just pour it all and then I'll help you spread it. See what I'm talking about? Sterling. Mm -hmm. Here, let me see. Because you got all that cool whip left in that container. I well, should just scrape it out. And you we don't you waste cool whip. I mean, mm -mm. most of that in there is not really going to make a difference. Yes, it is. All that you left, that's a whole spoonful. Mm -hmm. Right there in the corner where I needed it at. Some of that over there. It's a strawberry. You can see strawberries. All right. Here you go. All right. Punch bowl cake. All done. You guys see that? And normally, this dessert traditionally, like I said, traditionally it's with pudding um, instead of the cream cheese. That's not going to make a big difference. But uh, the other thing is that you normally make it. Because it's normally made for like family gatherings. You know ahead of time that you're going to make it. So you make it and you put it in the refrigerator. When you put it in there, it sits overnight. And y'all know what happens when you put something in the refrigerator overnight. Especially like if you put a banana pudding in the refrigerator overnight. It just kind of meshes together and all those flavors just kind of get together. So that's what happens. I am going to chill this for a little while. But I know that um, my family is going to be here soon. So it won't have time to chill that long. But it'll still be good. Um, and whoever's lucky enough to be here tomorrow for the leftovers, it'll be really good. But that is our dinner for today. And the other thing that I meant to tell you guys, um, when you take your lasagna rolls out of the oven uh, for your cheese to melt, sprinkle a little bit of parsley over the top. Um, you don't have to, but, you know, that's how I do it. And so that's. What we have today, like I said, I made the Caesar salad earlier. Sterling showed you guys that. Um, we have our punch bowl cake. I'm really, really just excited about dessert more than anything today. Um, and my oldest son's bringing us some garlic bread, but, you know, that's his thing, so we're not going to include that. Um, do you have something to say? No, I just can't smile. So we are going to start to say goodbye thank you guys so so much um if you can share this so that everybody knows how to find us on anini kitchen facebook page um what is today so next sunday I haven't decided if we're gonna be here next sunday yet it's the holiday for a lot of people so oh maddie's saying bye um so i'll let you guys know throughout the week but here on july the 11th for those of you that are local nini kitchen mobile will be back up and running or officially up and running delivery and pickup just like last yeah. friday um our first we're starting out with our first meal is going to be um our oxtails um we're going to do the oxtail plates. That's going to be with a piece of rice and the cabbage. And I am going to make a dessert to be included as well. So look out for that menu. Um, it'll have, I'm going to have the online ordering set up to make it easy for everybody. So I'm counting on you guys. Um, 
and I'm excited about it. Other than that, I think everything is, I think that's all that we needed to say. Um, can't think of anything else. May, do you have something to say? Hmm. Ooh, nasty. Stop doing that. May doesn't have anything to say. So, um, we're going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, I don't think we're going to be outside today. I don't know about anybody else's weather, but it's been raining and storming all morning. So, we'll be... Yes, Denise, I'm going to send you... I'm going to inbox you the recipe, um, Denise. But, for everybody else... <laughs> The blog, the recipes will be up on the blog this afternoon. Just like always, the videos are on YouTube, our YouTube Mommy. channel, Bring Back <laughs> Sunday Dinner. Make sure you guys um, share everything for us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Oh, Mommy. the other thing. Yes, Madeline? Mommy. Yes. Okay. So, my shirt. I thought it was so cute, you guys. Can you guys see my shirt? So, a young lady on Facebook made this shirt for me. Um, I'll have to find her name and post it. But she did. She does amazing work. I mean, this t-shirt is great quality. And, you know, the printing, like, you don't even feel it. I don't know anything about making shirts. But, you know, a lot of times you can feel the what's on there. You can't. It's just really, really good. So, um, if you guys ever need t-shirts or anything, um, she designed it and printed it literally in one day for me and mailed it out it was that easy and like i said her work is great so i'll post the um her page as well as far as the shirt is concerned but other than that thank you guys so much for joining us thank you for sharing those of you that shared the um the video for us um and liking the page i know you had to because you found us here on this page and not on my personal page this is where we're going to be from now on everything will go through this page um and madeline is wanting my attention so share 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 um hashtag bring back sunday dinner don't touch anything and we will see you guys on next week probably most likely Say bye. <laughs> that was her bye.